So this demonstration is basically a follow-on from a previous demo where I showed how to model a very very basic eyeball. Um, in this demonstration I'm going to just show how to duplicate that eyeball and just stick it on a really basic um, kind of Muppet looking head. So what I'm going to do, look, there's probably many different ways you can go about this but the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to hold down right click on each object of my eye to select it and then I'm going to just do shift D to duplicate that eye and oops it looks like there I missed my um, pupil so I'll just try that again right click right click right click and shift D and there I've got a duplicate of my eyeball and what I'm going to do just right here is I'm going to press X on the keyboard and that's going to lock it into the x-axis so I'm just going to position it there for the time being and I'll zoom out a little bit and what I'm going to do is also I'm going to create another UV sphere which I'm going to scale up and I'm just going to move it around a little bit and this is going to be a very basic rough head and let's scale it up a bit more something like that and so I'm going to go to my tools and smooth it and I might as well put a subdivision modifier on it as well just to smooth it a little bit more now because I've already made this blue material for the color of the iris I can just go into my materials and select that blue color here and that well that's um, a head but what I'm going to do just to take it a bit further is I'm going to put some um, hair on it I'm going to go to the um, particles and select new and I'm going to set it to hair and there I can see the hair is quite long and I'm just going to go into the hair length and click on that right here and drag leftwards to shorten that hair a little bit you can also see that the hair is actually poking through the eyeballs so what I can do here is I can go into the particle edit mode and I can select length and select shrink and I've got a tool here I'm also going to turn up the strength actually and if I click and drag I can sort of reduce the length of those hairs that are poking through the eyes to the point where they sort of go back in under the eyes and I'm just doing it very rough for now as you can see um, something like that now if I go um, back into my object mode and I'm going to put it on rendered I can see I've got very sort of spiky hair it almost looks a little bit like a puffer fish and maybe what I'm going to do is might even create like another plane object um, just to have a bit of a floor in the scene so I'm just going to create plane and bring that down and scale it up and I'll just go back into rendered there we go and I'm going to well I'm going to make sure I've got my object that's got the hair on it selected and you can see that I haven't done a good job of cutting that hair back but I'm not going into the details right now but what I do here is where it says children I put it on interpolated and it just basically creates a lot more strands of hair 
between those kind of main strain, strands of hair. And I think I'm going to, you, you can mess around with the hair, particularly you can have some fun if you, um, you know, turn on the hair dynamics and actually sort of play your movie. I'll just make my movie a bit smaller because you can watch the hair sort of flopping around. And I'm also going to put it on material mode just, uh, so that it actually plays a bit quicker. But you, you know, you can see your hair kind of flopping around and then you can you can go back into rendered mode and see what it would look like. And of course you can do many different sorts of adjustments to the hair. And it's also fun to um, make the, you know, parent the eyes to the head and set some physics properties and drop the kind of character and watch it bounce around with its hair flopping around the place. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now.